Mr. Potato Head is no more. He was boiled, mashed, and stuck in a stew. This article explains fairly well the fate of the potato formerly known as Mr. Potato Head, where it says a Mr. no more. Mr. Potato Head goes gender neutral. So he's just another toy in a long list of toys that are becoming more PC and gender neutral. And I wanna start off by saying there's no problem with having gender neutral toys. I'm completely fine with that. But I'm also fine with having gendered toys. Neither of those are bad things. And so the implication here is that a Mr. Potato Head was not politically correct or, or not a good thing, not inclusive enough, so we have to get rid of it and instead have a more generic, non-gendered toy. But again, there's nothing wrong with gendered toys at all. So Hasbro says they're getting rid of Mr. Potato Head and instead having things like a Create Your Potato Head Family Kit, where you have two potato parents and a potato baby. And they're making it for, quote, modern families, where you can have same-sex potato parents, for example. So to try and be more inclusive, they're getting rid of Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, presumably, and replacing them with a more modern potato family. And the idea behind this is that you want children to be able to understand or relate, I guess, to the toys that they're playing with. An editor-in-chief at a toy review site says, saying that it's a potato, but kids like to see themselves in the toys they're playing with. Which I understand to an extent, but whenever I play with Mr. Potato Head, I didn't see myself as a potato. I don't look for my representation in a plastic potato toy. I mean, if you do, that's fine, do you, I suppose. But they're getting rid of a gendered toy because it's somehow inherently bad, I suppose, and replacing it with only gendered neutral versions of that toy. And this is my issue here. There's nothing wrong with gendered toys, and I have no problem with gender neutral toys either. But when you're trying to get rid of the gendered toys because you think they're inherently wrong or they perpetuate gender stereotypes, well, that's my issue. You're reading far too much into a toy that a child just wants to play with. It doesn't hurt them to play with a Mr. Potato Head any more than it hurts them to play with a Mrs. Potato Head. It's completely fine. Hasbro said they're making sure all feel welcome in the Potato Head world by officially dropping the Mr. and Mr. Potato Head brand name and logo to promote gender equality and inclusion. So to be really inclusive, we can no longer have Mr. Potato Head. Instead, it's just Potato Head, which does not have as nice a ring to it in my opinion, but that's neither here nor there. Now, I want to reiterate that I understand where they're trying to come from. They want to be more inclusive. And they want children to, I guess, be able to relate to the plastic potatoes that they're playing with for some reason. But this push to kind of get rid of all gendered toys, it just doesn't make sense to me. Now, whether you're someone like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who believes there are only two genders and who is getting in hot water for that, or you're someone who believes that there are 700 whatever genders, however many Facebook now has, you have to agree, regardless where you stand, that gender, if it's not binary, is at the very least very strongly bimodal. And that means that most people identify as male or female, which means that gender toys are still an okay thing. They're still fine. If you identify as male and you wanna play with a gendered male toy, that's completely acceptable. There's no problem with that. Heck, if you identify as female and you wanna play with a gendered male toy, that's fine too. If you wanna play with a truck, you're a boy or a girl, that's completely fine. But if we're trying to get rid of all gendered everything, well, that's not the world we live in. We live in a gendered world and that's not a bad thing. Quite the opposite, in fact, I think it's a good thing because men and women are different and we tend to be complementary. Now that's obviously not saying that every man is the same as every other man and none of that nonsense, but it is to say that men and women are different. We are inherently different and we should celebrate those differences. We shouldn't try to get rid of them or try to be inclusive and pretend they don't exist. We should celebrate them. And that's why whenever I see things like this and it tends to keep happening, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I understand it's not the end of the world. It literally is just a plastic potato, but it just goes into that mindset that male and female don't really matter all that much, that we're not really all that different, but we kind of are, and it's a good thing. But those are just my thoughts on some random plastic toy. What are your thoughts? To be honest, I think it'll be a bit hard to no longer call him Mr. Potato Head because he's been that for, you know, my entire life, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.